The city of Stalingrad was of the utmost importance to the Soviet military effort. It was of Joseph Stalin's namesake, making it a symbol for the army. So when German forces attacked in August of 1942, the Russians did everything they could to stop them from taking the city. Russian women and children were in charge of building fortifications, as well as playing support roles for the army. Men that weren't already in the army were conscripted with little or no training. Factories continued production while the battle raged on. Unpainted and underprepared T-34s were sent directly into the battle from the factory floors. The Germans attacked directly into the urban section of the city. This made the fighting up close and personal. Each house had to be taken individually. Russian forces tried to be as close as possible to the front lines. This was the safest place for the artillery and aircraft that bombarded the battlefield. Huge losses surmounted during the fighting on both sides. To support the troops in the city, the Russians ferried new battalions across the Volga River. These ferries were under heavy fire and few men actually made it across alive. In order to maintain ground from the Germans, Stalin issued Order 227, saying that no one was allowed to step backwards on the battlefield. If they did, they could be shot or sent into penal units that would basically suicide into the enemy. Snipers were the backbone of both of these armies. They were easily able to hide in the derelict buildings and could th kill thousands of enemies on the battlefield. The Germans made slow progress taking the city, but when winter came and equipment on both sides began to break down, the Russians were better prepared for the cold, which gave them the edge. After more setbacks, Hitler fired many of his generals and personally took over the battle plans. He proved to be fairly incompetent in his strategies. Finally, after months of grueling fighting, Russians launched a counteroffensive on the German flanks, breaking through the Hungarian lines that were stationed there. The Germans were surrounded in the city, and attempts to resupply the army failed. They eventually surrendered on February 2, 1943. The battle is regarded as one of the bloodiest battles in warfare history, with over two million casualties between the two sides. Germany never recovered on the Eastern Front, and never pushed past the city. It is believed to be the turning point in the war for the Allies.